Here's what we're talking about, folks. So your interest cost on line one was $426.90. And because you owe less now, your interest cost on line two goes all the way down to $426.38. And then the next month, $425.87. Then $425.35. All of these $400 payments going to the bank. See, here's what I'm trying to tell you, folks. You're trying to buy one house with this 123 while you're buying four houses for the bank at the same time. You get one, they get four. No wonder they're in the business. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody in the audience, listen folks, let's get together and start a bank. That's what I'm talking about. Because this is legal. May not be moral, but it's legal. So we're gonna show you where the weakness is. So let's look at payment number one. Payment number one, $123.10, $426.90 in interest. That's January's payment. If we look at the schedule, we can see February's principal payment. February's principal payment is $123.62. Here's my question. Do we have to wait till February, Kurt, to give the bank the $123.62? No, we do not. We do not. And how do you know that, sir? I know that because I have sat in this room and my mind has been blown multiple times watching you do this example. But yes, we do not have to wait because our loan tells us that there is no prepayment penalty. Most mm -hmm. loans have no prepayment penalty. So that's how we know we don't have to wait in order to make that 123.62 payment. Okay, so if I pay this $123.62 in January, along with my regular mortgage payment, okay, then I'm paid down to line two in January because they'll subtract the 123.10 and they'll subtract the 123.62 in the same month. Because I've already paid my interest for January, they can't charge me any more interest in January. It's against the rules. And you're never supposed to know that. So once you pay this 123.62, you're already down the line two. Your next mortgage payment is actually on line three of the schedule where you're paying 124.13 and 425.87. So you're shrinking the amortization schedule. You just got rid of line number two, payment number two, for only $123.62. It's gone. Payment number one is now touching payment number three. So here's the next question, Kurt. What happened to this $426.38 in interest on line two? What happened to that? I like to say it's gone, but the proper term I've learned is that it's eliminated. Ah, <laughs> it's canceled. It's can we just canceled $426.38. You know, all of that interest that the bank wanted, that 98000 or whatever it was, you just reduced it by $426.38 interest you'll never have to pay. So Kurt, what if we did this? What if we did this? We paid the regular monthly mortgage payment in January and we gave the bank the next three principal payments on top of that. 12362, 12413, 12465. Okay? Yeah. Like yeah. $375, okay? Mm -hmm. What happens to the interest on all three lines? Canceled, canceled, and I think canceled. Exactly. <laughs> canceled, canceled, and canceled. That is a lot of savings for 375 bucks, folks. It doesn't even equal one interest payment, Don. Wow. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? You get rid of all of that. And so if you did that, your next mortgage payment for February, Kurt, is on what line of the schedule? I believe it's line number five. Exactly. So payment number one is now touching payment number five for February. This is February's new payment. So folks, do you see how easy it is to get rid of payments and to get rid of interest because of how the bank set this thing up so they can make so much money? But there is that weakness that you can save at the same rate they're charging you because now you know how to read this thing. Now, the next thing we need to figure out is not how do we save some money, Kirk, but Correct. how do we save the most amount of money per dollar that you have? Okay. All right. That's so, right. okay. So now 
We just learned that you can actually pay prepay any amount that you want to this loan, but I'm just going to give you two choices. You can prepay the 15 11 58, but let's talk about this first, okay? Kurt, because this is the amount of money that you're going to pay this loan down by in one year. This is all in cumulative principal. This is all of the principal payments added up. The $120 payments, add all these up for one year, and you'll get pay this loan down by fifteen eleven fifty eight. How much interest will we pay in one year on this loan, Kurt? $5,088.42. If you mean it's going to cost me $5,000 just to pay my loan down by fifteen eleven fifty eight, so it's a total of $65, almost $6,600 paid out? And I only get $1,500 worth of benefit out of it? It's in black and white, Don. I'm just reading the screen. Oh, got it. <laughs> so this is what we're talking about, folks. So listen, Kirk, this is my next question. I know I've got to pay them back the money that I borrowed, the fifteen eleven fifty eight. But do That's I correct. have to pay this amount of money in 12 monthly installments? No, I don't think you do. Mm -mm. No. If I had it, could I give it to them on line one? Yes. Would they subtract it from what I owe and would I be paid down to line 12 in just one month? Yes, that is correct. Paid down and to line 12. Exactly. And then what happens to all the interest between line two and line 12? What happens to all that interest? I believe the term is canceled. Canceled. Here's what we're talking about, folks. We're moving this loan from point A to point B. Line number one to line number 12. We're moving it from point A to point B. Doing it the bank's way, it will cost us an additional $5,088.42. Or if we had it, we can give the bank the fifteen eleven fifty eight up front and move the loan from point A to point B for only $426.90. Kurt, that's a savings of $4,000. $667.29 for giving them the same amount of money. Yeah. Okay. Who was that that was asking that question? That was Dr. Chaz Lasley, and she has changed from the cursing emoji. <laughs> now she has an emoji with a dollar sign tongue on it. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think she's happy right now. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He's, it's his book. Why not get that? is I'm gonna go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm gonna link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm gonna sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.